One of the things that I think me and David both kind of despise is draft grades the day after the draft. It's like the day after your fantasy football draft or just right after your fantasy football draft where everybody's got a great team, right? So you, people love to pretend like they know, like everything is what it is and they know what, what's going to happen, but but you don't. So after a year, that's a good time to sit here and kind of take a look back at the draft and some of the rookies that Ryan Poles had drafted last year. And, you know, just to name a couple names, um, Stevenson, Dexter, Pickens, um, Smith, Johnson like Roshan Johnson, Terrell Smith, um, out of all of the rookies last year, which one do you think made the most impact? Which one's your favorite? Who do you think played the best? Yeah, certainly the highest impact was Tyreek Stevenson across the board, like just because you saw the big positive impacts and the big negative impacts. Like Darnell Wright was on the field for more plays. I think he played every game this season and he didn't play every play. I think he left a time or two with little injuries, but for the most part was was out there all the time and obviously made a big impact. But the impact of a cornerback and the impact of a right tackle are a little bit different in terms of positional value there. And to me, it was the four interceptions, but also the handful of times he got burned badly a couple of times for Stevenson that you see the high and low swings of impacts of good and bad on this Bears defense. I ended up being a little bit disappointed in, in Zach Pickens. Not that expectations were ever sky high for the first pick of the third round, but like between he and Jervon Dexter coming in this year, right, right. They're both going to be, you have to be patient with young defensive linemen, especially that, that that position is hard to adapt to quickly to the NFL. But we thought Dexter was the bigger project. He was the one that was coming from a completely different style of defense in Florida, where he's doing a lot more two gapping and not really one gap penetrating at all. And, and they had to reteach him his stance and his, you know, his release from the stance and footwork and hands and pretty much rebuild him from ground up. And yet it was Dexter was the one who seemed to be flashing a lot more and, and having more of those high impact plays, whereas Pickens was supposed to be a little bit more I, I pro ready I mean, without without trying to expect six sacks from him or anything like that. I just thought I thought we would see more flashes from him and he was a little bit underwhelming or disappointing for me in that way. And I guess Terrell Smith has a fifth round pick, a late fifth round pick too. definitely exceeded expectations. Kylie is a guy who stepped into the starting lineup late and was taking snaps away from Tyreek Stevenson down the stretch when they were rotating the two of them because Smith was playing so well and Stevenson still had his sense of up and down. But I, I do think overall really, really strong initial return from that draft class from Ryan Poles, where you, you don't really feel like any of the first six picks of that draft, the first round, two seconds, a third and two fourths, like all six of those guys are all at least meeting expectations, if not exceeding expectations. And that's, that's always a good sign. You know, really early on in the season, one of the things that David said was, man, Dexter, he's a little bit more raw than I thought he was like, this guy's yeah. going to take some work. And to his credit, he has applied uh, whatever he was taught and, and has had production on the field because of it. It's pretty much unanimous there. Um, I think it's funny because like we, you know, you open the question with and, how the rookie review goes. It's like, I think Roshan Johnson might've been the favorite even nationally like late round pick where everybody's like, I can't believe they got Roshan Johnson. So late, he's going to make such an immediate impact and this and that. And look, and I mean, Roshan was nice and he's fine, but running backs, as we feel personally, me and Paulie speaking like dime a dozen guys and never really yeah. worth those big $20 million contracts. That they They're not a position that needs to necessarily develop. They could come in and, have a huge impact right away. Yeah, I mean, and he didn't have a huge impact. He's solid. And he'll probably play really, really well next year. And if Deontay Foreman tries to, you know, go get some money somewhere else, he probably will. And he probably will get that money. Um, you know, you'll see more production from Roshan or Khalil Herbert leaving or whatever it is. So that's fine. Uh, Roshan was a nice pick. Um, Darnell Wright, I think, crazy to say that like you're it's almost a slotted in like automatic like yeah he was great it was awesome let's move on next one that was more interesting because to get a right tackle who you just like put in and he was just expected to handle the best pass rusher from that side all season Actually, and he did a damn good job um i think that i was, forgot uh, to put him on the list yeah he's that ingrained and he's that like automatic already right it's just a part of the a line that you don't have to worry about moving forward and that's all you can ever ask for from an early offensive tackle draft right it's just awesome to know that that position's like locked up for five to ten years um dexter man like the first time i, I can't remember which game it was but i think he had like three pressures in a row might have been cleveland and i just saw it and i was like oh he got it 
whatever it was, it clicked that day because it was just three plays in a row where he just absolutely pushed that pocket. And I think that he's going to have a really good future moving forward. Um, Tyreek, solid, so solid. Uh, Terrell Smith, you know, it's it's awesome to get a rookie and it's awesome to get him in the fifth round to have those rights controlled. But Terrell Smith is a year older than Tyreek Stevenson already, right? So that's one of those things where it's like, it's nice to have a depth piece, but I wouldn't expect much from Terrell Smith, like long-term on this team. He's 24, almost 25 already. It's one of those like four or five-year college starters. So um, great pick, great depth. And I think when you look back and you overall kind of look at one of those these drafts, it's it tends to uh, the flashy A plus grade like teams tend to not really ever live up to that A plus grade on the day after, and this is kind of why we hate them, right? Because I think if you go and uh, the Bears go and get Caleb Williams and Roma Dunze at uh, not at nine, I think that is the quickest A plus we'll ever see on ESPN and PFF and all of that immediately. What does that mean? absolutely jack shit that and two quarters give you 50 cents right like right absolutely was GM nothing. of the year yeah ryan, ryan pace was gm of the year right 